November for CEO. Fascinating. The, the, the uh, minister knows every word of that conversation. Must have been a, one of those three-way calls set up yeah. for her. <laughs> you know, it's been said that you can't judge a book by its cover. So let's look through the actual main estimates to find out what Conservative priorities really are. And, Speaker, the, the devil's in the details. Let's see here. Cuts to affordable housing. Yep. Cuts to consular services. Cuts to First Nations health. What? Cuts to fishery protection. And Conservative uh. cuts to disease prevention. But wait, uh. while, while cutting these essential services that Canadians need, Conservatives did find extra money for, oh, wait for it, ministerial salaries oh. and their oh. budget. Now, Mr. Speaker, oh. how can Conservative yeah, priorities yeah. be so out of whack and offline with what Canadians actually need and deserve? Yeah. 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 Feels like Groundhog Day, Mr. Speaker. Every year this government tables the estimates. Every year we get the righteous indignation of the opposition party. Every year we table a budget, which is good news for Canadians, and every year they vote against it.